Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm going to show you how to tame an oasis saw. So, when this video is helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you. The mechanics of taming this is easy, but a process of taming it is not. Unless you're on god mode flying around with a gun with infinite ammo that can one shot everything. But there'd be no point making that video, would there? As nobody would be able to tame it. So, I'm going to show you a way how you can tame it for real. First of all, you need to splash out $30 on Bob's Tool Tails DLC, and this will allow you to tame it. As if you don't buy the extra pack, when you go to tame it, you get a pop-up window appear saying you need the required DLC. It's much easier to tame one if you're in a group, but I'm going to show you how to do it solo, which is much harder. First of all, one of your creatures needs to die. I'm choosing this RG, and it's going to have several unfortunate accidents with a shotgun. If you go to its inventory, you'll notice that there's nothing there. But I'm going to keep it saddled though. What you need to do next is harvest its dead body. That will leave behind a bag. Open it up. And inside you will find a death essence of a creature you've just killed. Grab it and put it in your inventory. It will last 24 hours. Then go off and find yourself an oasis or The ones I've found are north at the top of a map. They're really tall and high up. You can land on them with a flyer, but watch out when you get off because of the moving you could drop off the end. Or you can get up from underneath with a crossbow and grappling hook. Just shoot the top edge of a plate, winch yourself up, and you've made it on top. But like I said, it's easier to fly up there. Next, go to the front of your isosaur, and you'll find a pool of water that you can't drink and it's a bit weird, you can't do that. Next, open up the Oasis Saw's inventory, take your creature's death essence, put it in its inventory, it'll vanish, and your creature will appear in the water and start to regenerate. Now waves of vultures will appear. Fly down and try and kill your creature before it revives. If that happens, your creature will die and you'll lose its death essence, and you will fail to tame the Oasis Saw. It's best to shoot the vultures from a distance with a high-level fabricated sniper, as you've got to kill them as quickly as possible before they get to the reviving creature. The vultures come in waves, and after you've killed them and completed each wave, you'll get progress added onto your taming bar. The first wave of vultures is pretty easy, as there's not many of them, they spawn slowly, so you can shoot them as they fly down. In the top middle it says wave completed. It'll give you a short time to reload, then wave 2 will start. The waves of vultures will get harder and harder, until it's impossible to shoot them all, as you can't load your guns fast enough. However, I found a little trick that'll make things easier for you. Here I've skipped to the final wave. It's gone okay up to now, it's nearly tamed and it's not taken much damage. And I'll show you what you've got to deal with. Make sure all your guns are reloaded before the start of a wave. And as you can see the vultures take a lot more damage now. Even with a high level sniper you've got to hit them multiple times. Plus it spawns loads of them so it's impossible to kill them all in time. You want to be careful not to kill the oasis saw, because you can damage that as well. And with the amount of vultures flying around that need multiple shots to take them down, you'll run out of ammo, need to reload. And by the time you've done that, the reviving creatures took a lot of damage. Plus, you're trying not to shoot the oasis saw as well. I've managed to clear most of them out, but I've just got more incoming. It's killed my creature, and I've failed the tame. All vultures will vanish once you've failed. So if anyone says that's easy, they're lying to you. I thought about putting a tent over the top of a creature to try and protect it, but you're not able to place it. I tried covering it with a foundation and tried to build a structure around it, but you can't place it down. Attempt three, I tried multiple shotguns, but he still killed it. Attempt four, I killed it again. Attempt 5 it got itself stuck next to a cliff, and that blocked the view from seeing any vultures from that side. So try avoiding taming one if it's next to a cliff, as you can't see him coming. There are different types of oasisaurs with different things on top, like trees, rocks, or cactus. On attempt 6 I had to move to one with loads of palm trees on top. Those trees make it much harder to see the vultures coming, so try avoiding the ones with tall trees, as they block your view. On attempt 7, I tried two high level shotguns and two high level fabricated snipers. So, yeah, good luck finding those naturally. How long is that going to take? 
The other oasis saw vanished, so I had to try and tame a one with tall trees. And it got stuck next to a cliff, so I doubly couldn't see the vultures coming. Attempt 8, I managed to spawn in an oasis all with nothing on top, in the middle of a desert so I could see all around me. I tried the two shotguns and two fabricator snipers again to try and cut out a reloading time, but it still didn't work. Attempt 9, I switched out one of the fabricator snipers for a high level assault rifle. Oh, and if the oasis sword takes too much damage, the water will disappear in the pool, indicating you've killed it. No matter how many guns you bring or what type and level they are, you just cannot shoot and reload fast enough to get all the swarms of vultures coming down. It's always a final wave that overwhelms you. So on attempt 10, I tried fighting them off with a sword. For attempt 11, I tried a high level chainsaw. Attempt 12 was going really, really good. Then out of nowhere, I got a bloody death worm jump out of the oasis saw. And once that happens, you got no chance in taming it. It does major damage to the oasis saw. Never mind coming after you and stopping you shooting the vultures. If you look at it from a distance, the death worms pass through it like it's part of the ground. And if you try and land back on the oasis saw, the death worm keeps coming up from underneath. So you'd have to kill the death worm before you even start taming the oasis saw. Attempt 13, I tried gassing all the vultures. I was hoping to make a big gas cloud and knock out all the vultures before it attacked the tail. But as you can see, that didn't work. Okay, attempt 14. Let me show you how I can tame it for real. Put your creature's death essence in the pool. It'll appear over the water, and in the top middle it'll tell you to protect your creature. Next, get out of water because your gun jams sometimes when you stand in it. Stand on the back high side of the pool, crouch down, and that'll stop you moving around in case the oasisaur's walking, and start shooting the vultures with a high level fabricated sniper. The first wave is very easy as there's not many of them and they usually take one hit to kill them. There we go, I'm crouching down still. Remember, to do this solo, I've had to get the best weapons and I'm on times four taming. So if you can get friends to help you, it'd be much easier. I thought I did it then. Once you've completed a wave of vultures, you'll get a pop-up message in the middle top and the oasis will all start walking again. And if you look at your resurrecting creature, you can see that its taming bar has gone up. And every time you complete a wave, your taming bar will go up again. It'll take a while before the next wave appears. So take that time to reload your weapons. When the next wave is about to come, you'll normally get a pop-up in the top middle telling you. Keep watching the skies and look all around you. There we go, start spawning again. Wait until they fly towards you, and then it makes them easier to hit. He got in a bit quick. Switch to shotgun. Is at a distance to shoot him with a fabricated. Managed to get him just in time. Reload whenever you can. Shoot the distance ones. Second wave completed. It's took a bit of damage, but I should be okay. And as you can see, it's taming bar's gone up again. One more wave should do it. Reload your weapons, because this is going to be frantic. I'll skip forward a few seconds of waiting time. Messages come in the middle top. Now it gets crazy frantic. Right, let's shoot them. Two, three hits. Let's reload. And you've got three of them on my team at the moment. 
You can't shoot them all as Moors come in. So bring out your high level flamethrower and keep flaming them all. Because they're on fire it seems to put them off from attacking your creature. Plus it's the only way you can hit all the vultures at once. Is more incoming to so keep flaming them. I'm crouching down while I'm flaming them to try and aim up in the air so I'm not flaming my oasisaurus. Like I said, there's no way we have to shoot all these and reload in time. Even more incoming. I need to reload my flamethrower. They're still burning though. Reload quick. Set them on fire. And there we go, we've finally done it. What a pain in the ass how to learn that was to tame. So don't forget to subscribe please because this video took a long time to make. Thank you. You'll notice that the death essence of your creature you put in has gone now. That's because you lose it when you tame an oasisaur. So don't kill and use a creature you want to bring back to life. You can only do that after you've tamed it. The bigger creature you use to tame an oasisaur, the less waves of vultures you have to fight off. On times 4 taming using an RG, I had to complete 4 waves. But if I use something bigger like a Rex, I would only have to fight off 2 waves. The first swarm is very easy like always. Then for the last wave it seems to jump to the highest difficulty again. So it's like easy first wave, missing out all the middle waves, then jumping straight to the end hard one. So you're going to have to get out your flamethrower again and barbecue some vultures. It also seems like the more health your creature has, the more it has and the longer it can survive in the resurrection stage. So the Rex can take a lot more damage than an RG can. Setting the vultures on fire seemed to put it off from attacking my creature. Just going around in circles. And there you go, tamed another one. Now you remember me saying you lose a resurrection creature you put into it? Well that's what's supposed to happen. So how the hell did it stay alive and come back to life again? Working is intended. You're not able to farm the resource nodes on the back of the oasisaur or cut down any of its trees. Instead you go to its inventory and you can get the resources out of there as it makes them over time. Right, let me get a foundation out and I'll show you the building space we've got to work with. Right, we can't build in the water. We can't build at the front. Go to the side, however we can build here. Put a foundation there to mark it. Put one there as well. Move around to the back. I'll put one there. Put a can there. One in the middle. And another one right in the corner. I do a building video on its back, so don't forget to subscribe for that. And do one on the back hump as well. There you go, that should show you where to build. There we go, you've got all this space to build. Flying's pretty simple, it's the same as a bird. Just point your mouse in the direction you want to go, and space is to take off and land. The Oasisaur is completely defenceless, so I wouldn't do any fighting with it. I've tried putting mechanical turrets on it, but that didn't work. I've tried growing eggs plants on its back, but the seeds wouldn't go in the crop plot. You can grow Y plant seeds on it, and they'll grow into full plants. I'm not sure how much defense that would give you. Right, let's get on to the food you'll need to feed this thing. You'll need to unlock the shovel at level 20, and the plant pot at level 31. Take note of this as it's insane. You need 50 cementing paste for each plant pot and you'll probably have to end up building hundreds of plant pots. Once you've got some, go down to the ground. All the plant pots are brown and currently empty. Get your shovel out and equip it. Then dig up some bushes. That will put the bushes inside the plant pots and turn them green. And this is the food you'll need to feed your oasisaur. Once you've turned all your plant pots green, then go back to your tame. Open up the Oasisaur's inventory. You'll notice it's got no food and it's starving. So transfer the green plant pots over. 
And as the Oasis saw eats, they'll start turning brown, meaning the plant pots are now empty. And as you can see, it's foods going up. And that's how you feed it. You only can have one oasis saw, as if you try and tame another one, you'll get a pop-up message in the top middle saying you can't. And if you're going to tame one, I wouldn't shoot your creature while it's on top of the oasis saw, as it will drop through and vanish, so you can't collect its death essence. You're only allowed to revive one creature every 24 hours. Open the Oasis Saw's inventory, put your creature's death essence in it, hold E to open its command wheel, and there you can see the 24 hour countdown. If the cooldown's finished, you'll be able to select the dino you want to revive, and it'll come back as a baby and you've got to look after it until it's an adult. Oh, and if you can do the final wave with a flamethrower, are you able to do it with a fire wyvern? Let's find out. Now jump to the final stage, just waiting for the vultures to spawn. There we go. These are at level 150 and they take three shots. Need to reload. They're all coming in. Let's flame them. If it's above my head, I'll bite it. See if that works. Oh, that flamed them quickly. More incoming. I just purely roast them. Put a few points into damage. That one's flying around the back of my head. Try and flame it, if not I'll just bite it. There we go, got it. Yes she can. On the next video I'll be trying to see what's the biggest building I can build on the back, so don't forget to subscribe for that. Please like and subscribe if this video is helpful, and share it with your friends if you think it'll help them out. Click the bell notifications in order to get notified when I upload next. Check out the links below if you want to join Patreon and buy anything from a merch store or rent a server. Thank you very much for watching and I'll link other videos at the end. Goodbye.